ready for one hour with Olufolake Ike. We want to talk about life, we want to talk about love, we want to talk about relationship, we want to talk about mental health, we want to talk about spirituality and you being happy. Please, I want you to subscribe if you have not subscribed, like this video, share it with other people. My aim is to see you live a productive life. I want you to be happy. I want you to see that what you thought was impossible can actually be made possible. Your life, your life is yours alone to live, to enjoy, and to explore. Your life is a journey. Let's go on this journey and have fun. I, I want you to know that your life is like a product. The end users determine the worth and the value of the product. But if you want to know what your life is worth, get to know how useful you are to people around you. If I asked you to trade in your life, how much do you think I want to buy it? And how much are you willing to sell it? You definitely want to sell it higher than what I'm ready to buy for, right? Put your life together today. You don't need to trade it off. Don't let people treat your life like a junk and do whatever they want to do with it. Rebrand your life. How do you do that? Change your lifestyle. And your life will be rebranded. A lot might be going on in your life today, but you know what? The moment you change your lifestyle, everything will change. Put into your system. The things that get inside you determine what you produce. Garbage in, garbage out. You want to change your lifestyle? Your friends. The people you move with also determine who you are. You want your life to change? Change your lifestyle. You want more demand on the products which is your life you need some rebranding do some rebranding and you'll be amazed that your life will become brand new relationship you can change people but you can change you it's your happiness we're talking about here is your fulfillment we're talking about here Friendship is not by force. It is by choice. Choose your friends. You have power over who you have relationship with. Your relationship can be much better if you're invested in it, if you love it, if you enjoy it. And so why would you waste your time in a relationship that you don't love or you don't enjoy now i'm not talking about people that are already married that's a different ball game okay but let's talk about married people you're not enjoying this marriage you don't know what to do you can't change the other person but you know who you can change you you can do something about it what do you do about it change your lifestyle do things differently when you stop doing what you used to do you stop seeing what you used to see in fact you stop hearing what you used to hear you stop feeling how you used to feel change your lifestyle wake up differently sleep differently eat differently exercise differently do things differently so what do you think you can do? I want you to go and begin to think about what you can change in your life. What time do you wake up? Write it down. 
What time do you want to wake up? Write it down. What time do you go to bed? Write it down. What time do you want to go to bed? Write it down. Just make sure that you're sleeping well. At least put in some eight hours and wake up and take a deep breath when you wake up and say, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice in this day. Speak something positive into your day when you wake up. Take time to put in some knowledge. You need knowledge to be able to change. Get a good book and read few pages or few chapters. If you're a Christian, get your Bible and just read something. Put it in your spirit. Create the day before it starts. You have the power to do that. Once your day has been created, every other person around will have to fashion their lives around that day that you created, including your partner. If you don't create something for yourself, other people will create it for you. Why do that? You will change when you change and people will change when you change people will learn to react and respond to your changes so you've got to do something your life is like a car you'll know your destination or oh, I'm assuming you know if you don't know what your destination is this may be a good time to sit down and ask yourself, what do you really want? Out of life, out of love, out of your relationship, out of yourself. Put it down in black and white. Post it on the wall so that can be a compass for you. Look at it every morning. Look at it every afternoon. Look at it every evening. That is your destination. Your life is like a car. You get into the car, you have a destination on mind. So, you don't know how to get there, you get your GPS. There are a lot of GPSs in life. Sometimes we want to go somewhere, but we don't know how to get there. You may have a dream, but you don't know how to get to that dream. A lot of people have gone that route. They know what to do. Find these people read about them listen to them and you'll find out you can make it to your dream now you can't get into your car and then just stay inside there and somebody passing will say where are you going you say well i'm going to so and so so why are you here i just want to be in my car there are a lot of people who know where they're going but they have refused to move you need to begin to move. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. Keep moving. What is it you've written about your relationship? What do you want your love life to look like? It may not get there overnight, but you need to keep moving. Somebody said, how do I plan about a relationship when I'm not even in one yet? I want you to know something about relationship. Even though you're with somebody, you're still you. Do what you will do if you were in a relationship. The relationship will eventually come up and then it will be easier. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things you have not seen. What is the proof that you want to be in a relationship? What exactly are you doing now that is going to help you have a fantastic relationship? Start doing that. And you'll be amazed that you will have a good relationship whenever it comes. It is always better to be prepared for this opportunity than for the opportunity to come. And you're not prepared for it. Remember, faith is the evidence of things 
that you haven't seen. You have not seen the person begin to live like the person is already here. Remember, write that kind of person you want down on a piece of paper, post it. That's your destination. Begin to work towards it day by day and you will get there. This is Olufolake EK and we're talking about love, we're talking about life, we're talking about relationship, we're talking about you. Now, spirituality. The same thing goes for spirituality. It's still part of your life. Life, I said before, is like a product. Life is like a car you're driving. And you know what? Life is also a book. Now, you have a co-author. is God. Don't try to write your book by yourself. I'm talking about your life now. Stay with God and co-write what you are writing. Live your life. The end of the book is good. God has a thought concerning you. Thought of good and not of evil to give you a future and to give you a hope. It doesn't matter what the end is. The chapters may not be as beautiful as you want them to be. That's why right now you are in a chapter of your life. When you were younger, that was another chapter. Tomorrow is going to be another chapter. I want you to just tell God to help you accept the things you cannot change in your chapter and the grace to move on and change things that you are capable of changing. You have a bright life ahead of you. You have a good future ahead of you. Work with the creator. Why? A manufacturer does better than a mechanic. Work with God and keep writing and keep writing your life. Remember that a lot of people read different books, but they interpret it based on their imagination. Some people are going to read the chapter of your life today and they're going to interpret it in a weird way. It doesn't matter. What people think has nothing to do with the chapter of your life. Today you're down. People may think, oh my God, she's down because of so, so, and so. He's not making it because of so, so, and so. That's their interpretation. To God, that is a journey you need to make to get into the final chapter. All things are going to work together for your good. The good, the bad, and the ugly, they all make your story. You are not you without those horrific stories, without those traumatic experiences. They make you. That's why you're better. That's why you're bigger. And that's why you're brighter today. And tomorrow holds a better place for you. Just make sure you always go with a mindset that everything in this world is created by the word of God. And everything you're going to see in your life tomorrow, you can also recreate it by the word of of God. Remember, every man is a grass and his glory is like the flower of his grass. Grass will fade and the flower will fall. But the word of God, which is the word I'm talking to you about, will last forever. Infuse the word of God into your life and your glory will become brighter and brighter every day. It's Olufolake EK. Join me again next week for life, love, relationship, spirituality, mental health. Somebody is saying, you didn't talk about mental health. What do you want me to talk about? I've been talking about mental health all along. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health as your soul prospereth. God takes care of your mind if you submit your mind to him. He says, don't be anxious for anything. 
But I'm anxious. What do I do? He says, take what you're anxious about to God. Talk to him about it. Meditate on his word. Say good things about yourself. Start early in the morning to meditate on the word of God. And you will live well, think well, and grow well. Bye. Hi. I'm Olufolake EK. Join me for just one hour. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about relationship. Let's talk about mental health. Let's talk about spirituality. Let's talk about you being happy.